a whole area is just health is concerned black people. And uh, we had a position where we have to defend our health because it's constantly being attacked by such uh, things as some sugar coated buns. You see. And we're, we are being we're being seduced into our own destruction mm. in a happy way with cartoon characters. So mm. basically, our diet is being controlled by clowns and cartoon characters. Mm. You mm. see, we're not using intelligence as African people. We are very intelligent people. We built pyramids, created calculus. We have to use our intelligence to help us get out of this situation because we're being manipul manipulated by this industry. Okay, Doc. Yes. I mean, sugar. Why can't I have sugar? Why can't I not have sugar? I mean, why can't I have my, my candy bars and my peppermint and, you know, my, my chips and all my, you know, my, my different flavor colored candies? I like candy. Uh, sugar is naturally in sugar cane. It's naturally in oranges and apples. But when you take the sugar out of the sugar cane, you've isolated and concentrated a substance. And that's called a drug. That's what we call a drug. So you mean I'm like a, I'm like a drug addict when I keep going to the bodega getting my candy every day. Well, you're a drug addict. That's bona fide. You have an eating disorder because you, you're eating all the time. If you drink all the time, you have a drinking problem. If you smoke all the time, you have a smoking problem. Now you're eating all the time. Now you have an eating problem, which is a mental illness. The, the sugar, as long as it's in the sugar cane, it doesn't bother you. But when you take it out of the sugar cane, now you have problems. Because the body's going to try to make it whole before it digests it. So it's going to pull wart out of your veins and arteries and nervous system. What I'm saying is if you eat a raisin, body's going to turn it back into a grape before it digests it. Mm. So it's going to put the water back into the raisin and make it into a grape. Mm. So it pulls this water out of your nervous system, which causes Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, mm. multiple sclerosis, and it also pulls the moisture out of your joints, causing arthritis and stiff veins and arteries, arterial sclerosis. But the main thing that it's causing is you not to be in control of yourself. Mm. You got a chemical in your body it's giving you a false sense of intelligence. Mm. But I control my own thoughts. Oh, yes, you certainly do. You control your own thoughts. That's what you think. Mm. Your thoughts are this. You like sugar, so you eat sugar. So why is it that you like sugar? Who told you to like sugar? Mm. Who taught you all of this? So your feelings were created for you. Mm. Someone told you how to feel. If you eat this candy bar, you feel good. Your feelings are connected to this candy bar family. Soul food, you know, that's a big thing with us as people. We love soul food, you know. That's known as a scavenger diet where you eat the scraps, the leftover. Scraps? scraps. It tastes uh, good, though. We don't want to eat a slave diet, right? We want to eat the food the way God made it, to keep us the way God made us. We want to eat the whole food. People think it's some new thing. It was invented by Africans. We call it nutrition. Now, Doc, uh, you know, what's wrong with me taking a little, oh. you know, a little, little, little sippy yeah, sip every so often yeah. for my homies, you know what I'm saying? Drink a little beverage, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A little alcohol, you know, a little malt liquor. Just, you know, what's wrong with that? Cotton candy, it says dextrose with maltodextrin. Sugar, maltodextrin, the sugar's addicting. Wow. It cause your teeth to rot out. It cause you to be hyperactive. Wow, what about colors? Red 40, lake, and Those yellow 5? Those cause five. allergic reaction. Inflammation of the vagina, the teeth, the penis, the prostate. Yeah, okay. Calcium stearate? Yes. That's another chemical. What these I chemicals... I thought it was calcium, though. These chemicals released under the Nuremberg trial. Mm. These chemicals come out of Germany. Mm. Under the Merck Drug Company. They call them behavior modifiers. Today, you call them conservatives and additives. You have to read control the my behavior. Of course, that's what it's about. They, they can't addict you to an apple. You can't get addicted to celery. Are you crazy? <laughs> they can only addict you to this thing if they got sugar in it. So I, basically, I'm a junkie. I'm a sugar junkie. You're worse than a sugar junkie. You're hyperactive. Mm. Because sugar will speed you up. Yes. Well, what's wrong with the honey bun? I the honey, honey bun. Buns. All the food shapes were designed by the Greeks. Mm. And they have they have sexual connotation to them. That's why they call them buns. Mm. That's wow. why they call them buns. You're eating the asshole of someone else. Wow. You're into a symbolic homosexualism of sorts. Wow. That's why they call them buns. That's why candy bars are named after men. Mm. Mr. Good Bar, Snickers, Musketeers, mm. Babe Ruth. They're all chocolate penises with nuts on them. Whoa. So you're symbolically eating a, a chocolate penis. You see, and you break it open, ejaculates caramel, it's got nuts on it. Dang. I mean, it's, 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 the food was designed by someone alien to you, so it alienates you from yourself. Mm. See, it's no accident that a, a hot dog is shaped like a penis, and then you stick it between two buns. It's no accident. 
It's, wow. it's, it's all about feelings. It's not about intelligence. So what? It, so this symbology, how does it affect the minds of the youth? Oh, very how easily. How does it shape Very that? easily. It, if you're gonna if you're gonna raise like a, a pork, a people call pork. I'm saying, but you raise a pig. Mm-hmm. And you want to raise the pig fast, you give it steroids and sex hormones. Mm-hmm. So when you eat the pig, you're eating steroids and sex hormones. Mm-hmm. Then you become chemically addicted to sex. Mm-hmm. One of the most chemicalized animals there around is beef and that pig. Mm-hmm. So in some ways, they want to get you into eating beef and pig in any form. They can call it ham or pork rinds and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. But you're eating the chemicals. This industry called the food industry is a military control industry. Mm. And to them, you are the enemy. You're the person they are supposed to capture. Mm. So the industry has been set up long ago, 1946, to attack you. Mm. That's what it's about. There's nothing innocent, not in this country. Everything is about attacking you. The air will kill you.